Rosie. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. This is Rosie. He is four. Hang on with. Okay. Very close to his collar. Okay. okay. You're gonna pass me this side. Okay. But don't let go yet. Hold, hold right. a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Yeah. Got it. And a little, even more. Like, we can okay, put him right down. Okay, right Like, let his paw go down. Go down, boom. Yeah. Okay, now you can let him go. Okay. Let him go fast. Because so right now, he's basically used to doing what he does yes. with the aggression. Yes. And even when I took over at first, he wasn't realizing that he has to stop. That's why I had to be firmer the first time. Right. To get him under control. Eight. Sit. Then once he starts to realize that he has to respect me, I can start to lower on the pressure and go right. more with just like commands. Eight. Okay. Sit. Good. I'm trying to put him in a position where he will take my, my instructions. Okay. So then I can show you how to give him instructions. Got it. So when another person approaches us right now, I have to be telling him what to do in that situation. Right. To make him feel more comfortable. Yes. Sit. Good. Uh, I see you have a prone collar on him yes. already. How long have you been I, using Since that? I've had him. Right now, his intentions are really good. I'm paying attention to his body language. So even though it's like very little signals of anything, um, he's almost like, you know, he doesn't give a lot of uh, body language right. for us to read, but what he is giving me is pretty calm. Like right. he's, not, he's kind of like completely respecting what I'm doing. I mean, I'm surprised. Because basically what we're gonna start doing is I wanna get him used to following my instructions okay. in general, be, besides the aggression. Okay. Just we wanna make sure that he's walking properly, um, he sits when I tell him, he stops when I stop, all those things. Creating structure. Structure is something that I do for all dogs okay. because it helps prevent aggression, reactivity, fear, out of confusion because they don't know what, what else to do. Got you know, it. They, don't, they don't know an alternative. Tell him, no, leave it, come, sit, good boy. The more we get him under control, the more we can push him to get closer and closer and closer until he loses the fear of oh, people. Got it. Because right now, he sees people as a big threat yes. to him. And so he's always on, on guard yes. you know, when he sees them. Got so it. let's say right now he's just sitting here and someone just comes running right towards his face. I have to tell him, no, leave it, come on. So I gave him a way out really Got fast. It. Without panicking, you don't want to panic. Right. Because if you're like, oh no, and you panic, then he gets more scared of people. Right. You made, it, you made that situation scary. Got it. So it's really important that instead, I just calmly tell him, no, leave it, come, yes. And then I release the pressure because he responded. Come, sit, yes, good boy, Aww. come. So now he started to actually look at me there yeah, for, I like, that. for directions. Right. And the reason he's gonna do that, and he's gonna do the same thing with you two all the time, is because watch how every movement that he's making is controlled by me. Right. See, I want him to come to the right, I right. reinforce it. I want him to stop, I reinforce it. I want him to sit, I reinforce it. And then I'm also releasing the tension when he responds. So I noticed one thing with you, that there was a lot of tension. Yeah. You know? So I'm actually releasing it because he's responding. Okay. And I'm only applying pressure when I need to. So let's say I go to walk this way and he pulls towards you or he goes too fast. Then there's pressure because I want him to come this way. Come. Pressure, pressure. And then he gives in. I release that pressure. Right. Good. Sit. Yes. Good. Do you recommend I have him on a muzzle even just for walking? Oh yeah. Okay. You know the reason for that is because, like you, like you, you probably know, people can show up at any time. You can be in a corner like this, or a little kid goes up yeah. to him. You may not even be paying attention. All it takes is one little mistake, and then Got you're gonna it. bite someone. The muzzle does add a little bit of a, like a distraction at first, okay. just because it's if he's not used to having it on all the time. But there's a couple of things. One, he's gonna warm up to the muzzle more, so he's not gonna be so bothered with it. Got and it. And then two, you don't have to have the muzzle on forever. Got it. I think, you know, you start to push him, you start to see progress, then you can go ahead and start Got moving it. on from the muzzle. And then also because it gives a little bit more confidence, like to push, because I wanna right. teach you today is to actually push him more. Got like it. Like we're not gonna just take him for a walk. We're actually going to get him really close to people over here. Okay. I'm realizing as we've been walking around, just. I'm constant pressure, yeah. you know, taut, leash. There's a couple of different things with the pressure, okay? So if you just, the, the way you had him before, it's like this. Yes. So yeah. this, I call it random tension, random okay. pressure, which just confuses the dog, it's random. He does not know what this means Got other it. than 
he gets nervous because right. there's tension on him. A controlled pressure, which is the other type of pressure, is one of what I was doing before. When I'm passing by people, I'm gonna tell him what to do. Come, and I'm doing this. Let's go. So this here, he understands that I'm yeah. just keeping him in check. Right. When you do full tension like this, it's gonna always be random tension. He, that does not mean anything to him. Got it. Because they're just holding that. But when I do this, I'm, he knows I'm telling him to move forward and I'm trying to reinforce something. Okay. Now, once that's just to get him under control and keep him in, under control because they're keeping his mind on you, right? Right. Once he settles down and he's good, then I release all the tension because okay. I want to create this this idea that right there. If he's like this and he's not right. lunging towards anyone, right. we reward him by giving him more freedom. Like that. So less Boy. pressure or no pressure if he's doing the if right he's doing, thing. If he's doing really good, like he's really starting to ignore people, you release the tension. Yeah. Now okay. if I'm doing this and then someone starts to come and he starts to fixate on them, I'm going to go right back to, no, leave it like this. So I really need to like, it's all about him when I'm out and about. Because that, I, that's something that I always tell all my clients, call, consider him a dog in progress. Got it. So you don't go to get coffee or talk on the phone and forget about him. Right. Because literally every time a dog or a person approaches you, he depends on you to teach him how to deal with that. Right. Over time it becomes a lot better, it's going to start to slow down a lot, but it's in, in the beginning especially, Right. It's all on you, because the moment that you stop reinforcing it, he's going to go back to doing that again. One day we were on a bike path, and um, again, this was the first time, and then my cousin was the second time, but a family was riding by on their bikes. I didn't pick up on his stress signals, mm -hmm. and he, lit we were walking, and he literally beelined for the kid. Mm. I tripped and I, you know, it was just a mess. The pulling, that's what you want to do. You go here and actually pull him back okay. whenever he pulls. So you do a pop on the leash and then release. Okay. You want to be careful to not be doing this here. Got it. Tension, because, which is probably yeah. what I do. Because it's going to yeah. have tension on all the time. It's going to make him more tense, number one, and number two, he's going to pull more. Okay. But if you start to redirect with the pressure like this and and then I call this like throwing the responsibility onto him right because now as long as he doesn't pull but there's no more tension come got it and if he pulls I go back with the same thing okay so trying to create this this loose leash got it loose leash all right yeah. because it's also it's you know again you're it's reinforcing that you reinforce every command so that and he, he pulls a lot too. Right. That's why we do this right here. Okay. And you're gonna see it's like he's starting to slow down, but it's gonna be a lot of rep repetition at first. Okay. Every time he thinks about pulling, I go there and do this. Okay. Then we're creating the loose leash. Got it. Perfect. It's time for him to stop. So he stopped without me having to do anything. Got it. The, the moment that I stop doing this, He's gonna go to pulling again. Hey, come on. So if he focuses on someone, then I'm yeah. I am so when, doing so that. instead of when he focuses on someone, instead of you just pulling and pulling and right. pulling, you're actually gonna come up, come do this. Okay. Spinning him around, it makes it a lot easier. Come. Right there. Come. Just keep giving him instructions to do something else. Okay. You know, teach him to navigate passing by people. Okay. without having to be so worried about people. Okay. The moment that you stop doing that, his focus goes all on this person approaching him and then he becomes nervous. So okay. you see that someone coming? Come. Good boy. Come. So, right there. I rotated right around that person, but I didn't let him focus on them, you know? Got it. Come. Pay attention to his body language. He's responding to us. Yeah. So you gotta take advantage of that because okay. when a dog is giving you the improvement, you wanna acknowledge that and give him a little more freedom. That this means if you're ner even though he's like not right. being aggressive or having any bad intentions and you're nervous, you're gonna make him more nervous. Got it. So he's not gonna be stable. Got it. But and instead, I, we're gonna very yeah. like treat him like a normal dog. See, I made him wait because people are crossing in front of him. Like Got I would it. do with any yeah, dog. Yeah, that was amazing because he's as soon as the path opened, even though there's two people going in and out, right. he's gonna go right by them here. Let's go. Go for it. For homework, what okay. I'm going to tell you, you, you don't stay like in a position like this. You actually right. keep him moving okay. a lot okay. because it makes it so much easier. Awesome. Which is basically the same concept that I have already told you because right. every time someone approaches you, you have to get him to move anyways. Okay. But if I stay here hanging out and then people just start to get closer to him. allow him to build the stress. He's, exactly, okay. because he sees people as a threat and I imagine that building up, like, oh, they're getting closer and closer and closer. He does not know how to get out of that situation. Got it. In the, right now, you're in the process of teaching him because see, what, what, what I show him is that all he needs to do is move around a little bit yeah. and then it goes away. Yeah. Like, and people can go by. Yeah. But he doesn't know that yet. And also, you're breaking a habit of ears 
of doing this, you know? Got it. So now he yes. needs to know a new way and you have to, to break the habit, you have to be really consistent okay. until, that, until it changes. Okay. I mean, I'm, it's such a world of difference from how I am, you know, already. I've, obviously, the structure and correction is yeah, and what I'm, I don't do. Good. Actually, that was very perfect there. You see that he okay. was trying to acknowledge someone next to him. Yeah. And you told him no, and he okay. responded, and you passed by. Good boy. Got it. Good boy, Razi. Yeah. Good boy. But you know, when someone approaches you, basically it's more intense yeah. than him just wanting to smell something. This right. is more intense. But you already kind of paved the way to make it easier for him to understand, leave it, just boundaries in general. He's Got not it. just, when he's lunging there, doing whatever he's doing, like he has no respect for anything. Right. This just means like he's not worried about anything. Like he just does what he does and right. then he thinks that's the only way out of the situation. Got it. When you take control over it, now he has you to acknowledge. Okay. You're fighting against ears of a certain behavior. You're right. not gonna fix that overnight. You're gonna see improvement from day one, as you can see, right. but for you to get him to the level, like you said, you want him to be comfortable where you don't have to even worry about reinforcing right. it. That takes more time. Right, you just walking back and forth is a diff huge difference. Some people sometimes they'll say, you know, like if I'm correcting a dog like him, they'll be like, oh, he's just afraid and you're correcting him. So that's why people, they go to two different extremes. They don't right. understand really what does that actually mean. Right. You know? Right. You have to correct the aggression in either case. Right. Because the aggression is what he's learning to use to scare everybody away from him. Right. And for as long as you allow it, it does not matter how nice you are to him and how nice you make everybody be around him. People that have dogs like him, you already know that. A lot of people don't know, but you know that he doesn't warm up to people that fast. Right. And obviously, if it was that easy, no dog would be reactive. Right. You know, right. because people give them treats all the time. Most people are gonna be nice to them and they still are reactive. They need to be corrected, and then they need to then see that, that there's that no need to be okay. aggressive. No. Ooh, a lot, a lot of good stuff. <laughs> um, okay. I feel like I've learned so much. I don't want to get emotional because he's such a good dog. You know, we've had some challenges, but he's the best thing. And I just want to make him feel safe outside. 